I cannot believe this. One of my zero gauge wires that was running to the back was unhooked. I have four zero gauge wires running to the back, but one of the four was unhooked, and it was my positive one. I cannot believe this crap. Oh, what happened? I had the zero gauge wire running back there for a very long time. I mean, a very long time. Um, you know, eventually the nut came loose, I guess, and then when the nut came loose, the zero gauge wire came off. Oh man, I gotta check my other fuses to see if the nuts coming loose, especially the ones that's been in here for a long time. But anyways, it is so much louder now with the 4500. I gave my 8K back to my friend, but that's when I kind of discovered my zero gauge wire was loose when I was hooking up that 8K. Man. So yeah, it was kind of unfair for me to compare these to my old subs because, you know, they was at a disadvantage. Ah, uh, man. But they are so much louder now on the 4500. I can't believe my dumbass actually did that. I'm just going to stick with the Scar 4500. Um, I don't have the electrical to really run an 8K. And that was like a freak experiment, you know, me and my friend want to see. But anyways, you know, these are much louder now on the Scar 4500. Ever since, you know, I corrected that error. Um... I mean, I feel so dumb, like, comparing these to my old subs and, like, not realizing, like, that it was a freaking zero-gauge wire dangling by the box. Yo, man, get in Yo, man. Yo, man. Sorry, I had to cut this flex video short. I got a phone call. But anyways, I can't believe I didn't notice that wire, man. That was so stupid of me. These things are freaking hammering now, man. I cannot believe how hard they hit. The camera does not do this any justice at all. The flex is so much more brutal in person. So much more. If you live in the South Georgia or North Florida area, please hit me up because I want to give a demo of this. I want to give people demos of this. Man, I'm actually very impressed. I got the great stuff. You know what this means. I am definitely going to seal this roof off. Bit time. If you've seen my past videos, you know my truck is filled with this stuff. My truck is probably made of like 75% great stuff on to be honest with you. It's sprayed in like so many corners and panels. I was just going to go inside Home Depot and get the wood sheet to seal off my sunroof. But you know, it had to start raining. It had to start raining. Freaking my luck. When I get free time, stuff like this happens.